Hello everyone. Today I am going to set up Gero Watt inverter, which model is SPF 5000ES, and our energy storage system ENP 51100, which is a 5 kilowatt hour battery storage system. First, I will introduce a complete inverter, its, its interface and the battery and in the last I will, I, I, will, I will let you know how to set up in an inverter setting. So let's start. So I put inverter here for your easy view. You can see some ports in interface here. Here is a BMS port, RS485, CDL ports, Wi-Fi and GPRS, USB port. This is a DC power out, AC power in. This is a Garawatt uh, Wi-Fi module. We can insert here. Just insert it. So next step, we will set up the battery and we will, we will let you know how we can plug the battery with the inverter. Okay, this is our battery storage system is a 5 kilowatt hour usable capacity it is 51.2 V 100 ampere hour it is very clean slim size it can use a rack mount it can be a stack and it can also be a wall mount so this battery module we designed specially for various uh, uh, scenarios wherever you need to use it you can install as per your requirement Let's institute our battery interface. This is a DC, DC power out, communication port, and simple uh, power on and off button, and battery status. Let's turn on the battery. The battery is turned on. So next step is we are going to set up inverter parameter so as you can see the inverter and battery is already set up this is a grid power bms lan cable communication cable which is a normal ethernet cable and dc cables and uh, here in interface you can see the ags battery as a default which e every inverter come with so let's step let's set up we are going to set up inverter, gigawatt inverter with our energy cell battery storage system. How to do? Let's start. First long press this enter key. Use up and down menu and select batteries. Once we are in a battery, you can see this AGM battery already by default, which is a, every inverter is a default battery as an AGM. We need to change it out to Lee battery. Here is a Lee battery and press enter. 36 is the communication protocol of a Garawatt inverter. We need to we need to select the communication, BMS communication port, which is 01. Press enter. Skip. Wait for a few while. In order is set up, so we can see if this is uh, already communicating. Yeah, this is a SOC percentage. Charge current. Charge current. So you can see that uh, its uh, communication is uh, successfully done. Now this is a uh, inverter is already set up. No need to do anything else. Simple and plug and play. Let me introduce some of some of more about uh, our our batteries. So here is our battery. is a five kilowatt hour. You can see it's very slim, very clean. The um, LED light indicator, each indicator is 25%. It means that 25, 50, 75, and 100. Power on and off switch. Our communication port is, is RS485 and CAN altogether, which is, uh, which is used in 
uh, almost L kind of inverters. We have a very strong BMS inside and it is compatible with the mostly renowned inverter available in the market. So it can support like uh, Victron, Grover, Dynis, Lux Power, Good V, SMA, so far and so on. Almost all kind of inverter it can support. Over, this is our strength and it is a simple plug and play devices. Okay guys, let you see that it take very short time to plug our inverter with our battery. It will take like five minutes or so. It is very easy. We have so many projects here. We have our own technology which have a very great advantages. We have a 2.4 kilowatt hour. We have a 10 kilowatt hour of batteries. You always can contact me for any of your battery needs and we will evaluate your project and give you the right solution. You can contact me on vp at energycell.com or you can visit our website www.energycell.com. So the link I will go there. If there is some more information, you can call me. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.